the fundamentals of impact actions. The fundamental principles learned from these lectures enable you to follow subsequent lectures which deal with different modes of failure of a RC barrier. To illustrate the fundamentals, let's look at a simple problem of a pendulum. Striking a lump mass which is supported on a pole. The amount of kinetic energy de delivered by the impact is half mv naught square. The question is how much of this energy goes into the pole? Consider two objects in space. The flying impacted object has mass m and the target which is initially stationary has mass lambda m. So as the impactor move and collide with the target, it has velocity of impact v0, momentum m v0, and kinetic energy half m v0 squared. On rebounds, the velocity of rebounds is minus v1 and momentum minus m v1 for the impactor. Um, the negative sign is because of a change in directions on rebounds. Then for the target, velocity is v2 and momentum is lambda m v2. At the instant of impact, the momentum delivered by impactor is mv0. Right afterwards, the momentum of the rebounding impactor is minus mv1, whereas that of the target is lambda mv2. So you make use of this information to write down the equations of equal momentum as shown at the bottom of the slide. We start with the equations of momentum. Then to add mv2 to both sides of the equations, in the end you get the expression of v2 divided by v0 expressed as 1 plus coefficient restitution divided by 1 plus lambda. The expression that we have derived enable us to calculate velocity v2 of the target right after the impact. The amount of kinetic energy which is developed into the target right after the impact is also found. If the target is supported by a pole, then the kinetic energy K2 is then translated into the string energy absorbed by the pole. It's now shown that only a fraction of the kinetic energy delivered by the impact is absorbed as string energy by the pole. Now, the next step is to calculate the amount of drift of the single degree of freedom systems. Now, given the amount of string energy absorbed by the pole, then the displacement delta can be found. <coughs> Experimental verification. The equation that we have just derived for predicting the amount of maximum displacement delta has been verified by conducting experiments uh, using a pendulum device to strike a lump mass system. It is shown that the experimental result match very well with the hand calculated value for delta as shown on this diagram. The methodology that has been presented has been published in the ASC Journal of Engine Mechanics in 2018.